So friends, let's see today's easy and delicious lemon rice, which can be made with leftover rice as well. Today I'm showing you how to make the rice. So here I've taken one cup of rice, here I'm using basmati, but you can use any rice that you use generally for cooking. Now wash the rice really well under water and use this rice water to water your plants. They, act, they are a real good fertilizer, don't let this water go to waste. Then I'm going to soak this rice in two cups of water for about just five minutes. It helps to cook the rice faster. And then you're going to cook this in three cups of water till it is almost done. We don't want the rice to be overcooked. So I'll show you what you're looking for. So if you take a grain of the cooked rice, you should be just able to smash it up in your finger like this. So that means our rice is done. So what I like to do after this is I just like to strain it using a sieve. Or you can just invert it like this also and let all the water go away like this let all the water drain off and then just place the vessel inverted over the sieve so all the water drips off you can either do it this way or you can just let all the rice fall onto the sieve either way is okay so in this way the rice is nice and you know uh, each a grain of rice is separate now for this recipe we are going to use a few ingredients so here I have two dried Kashmiri chilies that I have broken up into half now here I am using something called kanda lasun masala but that's completely optional you can skip it if you don't have it available here I have one fourth cup of raw peanuts and from my masala dabba or my spice box I'm going to be using half a teaspoon of mustard half a teaspoon of cumin half a teaspoon of asafoetida and half a teaspoon of turmeric for those of you following me, you know this is my general food me or bagar for most of my recipes. And we're also going to use a little bit of salt to taste and the juice of one small lemon. So let's start making this delicious lemon rice, which is a great tiffin item, a great lunch idea. So here I'm eating one tablespoon of ghee. You can also use oil. Once the ghee is nice and hot, I'm going to add these raw peanuts and we're going to fry the peanuts till they're nice and dark golden brown in color. That makes the peanuts lovely and crunchy and they really add a lovely flavor to this lemon rice. Now once the peanuts are nice and fried, just take them out in a small little bowl. And now for my masala box, I'm going to add the mustard seeds, the cumin seeds. After the mustard seeds begin to splutter and then I'm going to add asafoetida and the lovely haldi, which is very medicinal also. And most of our uh, cooking has haldi in it, our Indian food, which is so good for health. Try to include turmeric in most of your food. And then you're just going to put these curry leaves, try to use fresh curry leaves. And then you're going to throw in the Kashmiri dried red chilies. I've just taken two of them and just broken them up into half. Now give all of this a nice fry. Let the curry leaves and the red chilies really fry well in this ghee. So anything cooked in ghee always has a very unique flavor. And it's also as per, you know, it's very good for health. Now I'm going to add uh, the fried peanuts back into the fodni. And then I'm going to add my rice. So like I said, this is a great recipe to use leftover rice. Here I'm using fresh rice. But otherwise, leftover also does, will do. And now mix everything really well together since you know you should not be able to see a single white grain of rice. Everything should be nice and yellow. Now we just have to add some lovely salt. Without salt our food is really not tasty at all. Whether it's fine dining or simple home food, salt is a must. And I like to add just a pinch of sugar. That's about 1 fourth teaspoon. Mix everything really nicely but gently you don't want to break the grains of rice. And then you're just going to add this kanda lasun masala. Like I said, you don't have to worry. If you don't have the kanda lasun masala, just leave it out. And mix everything well together. In place of kanda masala, uh, lasun masala, you can also add one green chilli in the in the bagar and fry it well. And now you're just going to cover and cook this for three minutes on a low flame. Turn off the heat. Give it a good gentle mix. And now, after turning off the heat always, I always do this, I always add the lemon juice after turning off the heat. And you know, just uh, uh, squeeze the lemon juice into your spoon so that, that there are any seeds or any pips, it's easier for you to remove. 
so get as much of the juice as possible and don't throw away those used up lemons use them in your pressure pan when you're cooking anything just throw these lemon peels into your pressure cooker and you just see how clean your pressure cooker will come it will become really nice and clean so you don't throw away these lemon peels so i've used a whole lemon because this is of course lemon rice so it has should have that lemony flavor now mix everything really well together and your lovely lemon rice is all ready to enjoy try out this recipe guys today's recipe as well as today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever i put up a new recipe or a new video you get a message for the same so on that note i'll say bye and i'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think this is akshita saying bye take care stay healthy stay fit be kind and loving to one another so till we meet again bye